give me that. Clap your Thank you. Clap your All right. Thank you, Kate and Melissa. <laughs> it was a great party. I'm so sorry about Maggie, darling. Yeah, me too. But the good side is, I get to spend more time with my little baby doll. Yeah, Lisa, ready to go now? We can't keep the Griffins waiting. No, uh, no, you shouldn't. They've been really cool about letting me visit, so I don't want to push it. No, you don't want to push that. Now, listen, I'll tell you what. Let's get this little gal some cake to take with her. Oh, get some nice, big, juicy, marvelous piece. You know, it's so hard having you all for such a short time. But that's going to be a short time, you know. It's going to be over soon. And besides, I'm so proud of you, Mr. Pro Valedictorian. That's thanks Incredible. to Maggie. I found no, no, no. It. Yeah. No, those those grades are thanks to you. But Maggie did fight very hard for your title. Maggie's definitely a good person to have in your corner. I'm sorry y'all couldn't celebrate tonight. And I hope her family's all right, darling. Okay. That person who called, did they say anything else? No, they just said that she had to get to New York. Mr. Hutchins must have had a relapse because when I spoke to Maggie, she told me that he was doing better. I don't get it. Have you ever seen this woman before? Oh, for heaven's sake. A lovely accent. Do you remember seeing this woman the day that you were shot? You may have never passed. There's something familiar. Oh, yeah, but I can't put my finger on it. Get it over with, Carl. Say what you have to. Someone who wanted us never to be found. My guess is whoever dumped us here thought we'd die because we got no food, no shelter, and there's not another living thing in sight. I'm not going to give them the satisfaction, is it? Yep. Is that unusual? <laughs> unusual? It's hardly a word. Well, whatever our relationship was in my mythical past, I hope you'll allow me to make it up to you in the present. Well, you hate each other. You hate each other with a passion. Well, of course, how could I hate anyone as beautiful and as loyal? Have you, have you kept a vigil here by my bedside? Well, yes, I, I was concerned. Yeah, you see, she was concerned. Ask her why she was concerned. I don't think you're going to like the answer. Well, I don't like this cat and mouse either. Now, either tell me what happened to me or go away. I don't want to play detective. Oh, bravo, Carl. That's 
I can't tell you what happened because I'm still piecing it together. What do you mean, just he's guessing? That's right. We're not going to know unless the shooter tells us. My dear, did you shoot me? It's a pity you don't remember me, Carl. Because then you'd know that I am incapable of killing anyone in cold blood. Oh. And particularly somebody who finds me irresistibly attractive. May I go? Must you? I'm afraid so. Well? Go. You really should teach this young man some manners. Are you married? No. Why? I'm not surprised. You don't know much about women. Look, I am in the middle of an investigation. I am not going to be asking questions yeah. in a... For all, all the more reason to tread gently. Look at me. I am a cipher. Now, if you are my no, son... No, I am your son. Then please, please tell me who I am. You're Carl Hodgins. You win. Where are you going? You want to find out who you are? I'm going to go get the person who knows you better than anyone. and I'll follow him out. Just how are we going to get out of here? See, that's always been your problem, Paulina. You're ahead of yourself. Now, the reality is we are fine. I found this shelter. Shelter? Shelter? If I were a bat, I wouldn't live here. If you were a bat, you wouldn't be bat talking to me like this. Now, we will sleep here. We will get up and find our way out of here, all right? Out of where, Jake? To where? We don't even know where we are. Why is this all on me? This is all your fault. My fault? This is your family. But you weren't even invited to the stupid wedding. Wrong. You invited me. Because I'm an idiot and I never learned. But I was right. Iris plugged Carl. Stop saying that. All we know for sure is that Iris is very upset with Barry. Barry wasn't at the wedding. Iris was. And so were you, Jake, and did you stop this from happening? No. You got a stump in the middle of a wilderness where we'll probably starve to death and our bodies will be eaten by wolves with rabies. Then it's lucky we'll both be dead. You really think we're going to die? Holding out on me. Jake, that's not food. It's calories, which we're wasting. Oh, who didn't know that Paulina wouldn't go anywhere without me listening? Well, aren't you bright as a button? Would you get these matches? No place. Rendezvous? Is this the place on the, on the highway with the beaded curtains? My social life is none of your business. Your social life? Or rendezvous? Who'd you go there with? It's none of your business. Were you dating someone? May I have my purse, please? Why didn't you take this guy to the wedding? What? Risk a calm, uneventful weekend in New York when I could be down in the dirt with you? Those of mine. Law of the wild, you share and you share alike. Law of Paulina, not a chance. So if I finish it in the car. I'm sorry. It's a lot harder than I thought. You'll be 18 in August, and this whole thing will be over. I'll see you. 
Very soon. Very soon. If Maggie calls. Don't please. worry, I will take a message. My girlfriend told me that there was an apartment available in the building, but I couldn't find the super, so I thought maybe I'd just come in and take a little peek around. Ah, uh, it's pretty good size. Do you live here alone? Oh, it's a one bedroom. It's not uh, very big. Um, Small. One bedroom. Well, I wouldn't need roommates. Look, if you don't mind, um, I'm very tired, and I'm sure the super would be. Do you have any kids? No. Oh, I. Oh, no, this belongs to a friend of mine, uh, to uh, the child of a friend of mine. Oh. oh, it's so cute. I just love that baby smell. Aren't you a little young to be looking for a, an apartment of your own? Mm. So, so how old is the little girl? What? I just love kids. Can I see the bedroom? Excuse me. Uh, if there's a vacancy, I'm sure that the superintendent will be glad to show you around. You, you've been so kind. I guess you're right. I, I This is my first apartment alone, and I guess I'm just a little bit nervous. I just graduated. What was that time of year? Yeah, you know, my mom and dad put up a banner just like that one in our living room. Well, good luck to you. Oh, thanks, and um, I, I guess I found out everything I need to know. For now, anyway. You were in with Carl? Ryan insisted. Did he recognize you? No. What's so funny? <laughs> well, it was funny. I... <laughs> well, not, not really. It's just that um, he thought I was attractive. That is rather ironic, don't you think? Yes, you could say that. What did he say to you? He doesn't remember me, Iris. It's not your fault, is it? What did the doctors have to say? That it has something to do with post-trauma, and that it could go away at any time. Well, that's encouraging. Oh, yes, I guess we should be grateful. I mean, yesterday he was almost dead, and today he doesn't know you. It's just a little disconcerting, that's all. I know, it's just bloody awful, actually. I prayed and prayed that he would just be allowed to live, and now he's alive and... He doesn't know who the hell I am. Rachel, I never wanted this to happen. I was against the marriage, and I hated working with the man, but I would never, ever have wished him harm. You have to believe that. Rachel. Um, you feel up for another visit? Is he asking for something? Well, he wants to know who he is, and I figured you, uh, you know him better than anyone. He's not going to want to hear that from me. Try, please. You don't remember, Iris. We'll see. Don't go anywhere. is still alive, Iris. Uh, you didn't follow orders. Now, unless you want to bet in this establishment... I am bet. not doing anything until you tell me what you've done with Jake and Paulina. Alec Wentworth. Please. Brad Koufax. 
blonde. You wouldn't get somebody that's blonde? Oh, I'm not telling you who I went to the rendezvous with, so you might as well just forget it. Could I have a lifesaver? Are you going to admit that this is all your fault? Okay, Pauline, fine, it's my fault, all right? Why don't you put me in front of a firing squad, but just let me have a mint before I go, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. What are we going to do when the lifesavers run out? We start on crackers. One a day. I'm supposed to survive on one cracker a day. There are other things, Paulina. What? Leaves and sticks? Mushrooms, berries, fish. Oh, fine. You get me a fish, I'll eat it. Fine. You want a fish, I'll get you a fish. Boiled, Jake, not fried. You touch so much as a piece of salt on one of those crackers, and you are a dead woman. And don't forget the lemon, either. No, that fish is. Oh, come on, she could have at least left a message. Maggie, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? You mean other than waiting for you for another two hours? You went to the old mill? Yes, I went to the old mill. And it was great. Yeah, me and the mosquitoes and a skeevoid drunk guy drinking beer from a bag trying to get up close and personal with me. And you know what was the best part of it? Was when I had to sit there and watch a couple kissing and hugging. You canceled, Maggie. Take up the call. What call? I did not cancel. I got a message saying that you had to go to New York, that it was an emergency. I mean, I just came here to see how Mr. Hutchins was doing. He's doing fine. Why would I go to New York? Who did you talk to? I didn't talk to anybody. Kay got the message. Well, she didn't talk to me because I didn't call. Wait a minute. I think I get this. I'm sorry, Maggie. I really, really thought you were in New York. So you didn't stand me up? No, I didn't stand you up, especially not tonight. I wanted to be with you. You're limping. No, you're not. Well, I have been more sore than this. I went to the gym for an hour, okay? I slipped while I was foraging. Well, you're not dressed to be foraging. It's a survival thing, okay? Steve. Ow! Take your hurt! You mold me, no wonder. If you think I'm going to take care of you, you can forget. I would rather spend time with the rabid wolf than spend one more minute with you, okay? Oh, Jake, it's swelling. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. If this is all the fault of the fabulous cores, I might remind you. Start with my family. Irish and the Muscle Man are the ones. If it was I was just guilty of sin, and you know that. No way she did this to us. What do you say? I hope you blow on the match. I am not falling for that, Mr. Jake. So, would you ever deserve a rendezvous? Did you get that far? <laughs> Oh, you know me, Jake. I never go hungry. This is a place with a little in out back, right? Mm hmm Very cozy. You know, there are other ways to keep warm than sitting in front of a fire that won't stay lit. Like what? Why don't you come over here and find out? Well, apart from a searing pain in my side, a dull ache in my back, and an overwhelming need of a bath, I'm fine. This is a Six News special report. My late husband, Mackenzie Corey, and you knew each other. Were he and I friends? No, you hated each other. And yet you care for me? Why? Five years ago, my husband, uh... 
died. And, uh, and we all thought you were to be avoided, and that was very easy. You had left Bay City. Bay City. Yes, that's in the Midwest. I lived there. The young lad said that to me. I lived there, too. Anyway, a year later, you came back and set about to reform. Why did I do that? Because you were lonely, and you wanted a relationship with your son. Is that boy right? Yes. And you wanted my help to redeem your reputation. And why did you, why did you help me? Because you made me an offer I was in no position to refuse. Oh, did I blackmail you? Yes. You must have wanted something very badly. I did. And you got it back to me. And in the process, I discovered you really did want to change. And we became friends? More than that. Have we been intimate? Yes. We fell in love. You and I. It was at our wedding you were shot. Shot. Oh, was he? I can't remember anything. You were saying you lost me. How can a man forget his own wedding? How can a man forget the woman he loves? I'm very sorry, but it's a lot to absorb. I mean, it's an entire new character, shooting, a wedding. I've hurt you. Yes, I'm hurt, but it's all right. I haven't had much sleep. I'm sorry, I, I don't know how to lie. I'm not asking you to lie. Just don't ask me to. It's not very easy talking to you and not getting anything back. Look, I can't pretend I feel something when I don't. I simply don't remember. I mean, not that the prospect doesn't please me on it, obviously. Please. You're, you're lovely, you're intelligent. Please. Well, but we must have had a few fights. Yes, several. Were they fun? We had a lot of fun. We had joy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I keep putting my foot in it. I feel... I feel It's silly. all right. It's all right. We have another issue to discuss. No, no. must be. Please. This is important. The police, um... have an investigation. What for? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course, the shooting. I don't remember. Do you have any ideas? Do they have a suspect? They're hoping you can help them. No. I can't remember anything. I mean, do you... Do you have any ideas? You ought to know my family wasn't very happy that we were getting together. So we were flying in the face of adversity, were we? Yes. <laughs> we must have loved each other a great deal. We did. I do. Why? Tell me something. The people who felt that it was a mistake. Do you not believe them? Of course I don't believe them. You were shot. And you're still suffering the effects of that shot. But the man I love is in there somewhere, so I just have to wait until he reemerges. And I'll do just that. I'll wait. I'll get on with my life. But just remember one thing, all right, please? I don't give a rat's behind what anyone else thinks. You know, you are... Uh, you are splendid when you get wrought up. Yeah, well, we were splendid. Well, where, where are you going? I'll see you later. It was so 
simple. How could you blow it? The guy was unconscious. Connected to 40 million monitors, any one of which would have blown sky high if I... If anything would have gone wrong. Oh, it's gone wrong, all right. It's gone very wrong. Now you have to do them while he's awake. Good luck. I'm not doing anyone. I'm not a killer. Well, I can see your headlines now. I am not a killer. While they haul you away to Rikers. Oh, you have a vivid imagination. Cold, hard reality. As soon as Carl gets done with his little sit-down with the cops, they're buying you new pajamas. I've already talked to him. I was with him. Hmm. You're cool. I'll he give you that. Amnesia. He can't remember anything. Get out of here. Cold, hard reality. I talked to him. He doesn't even know his name. You think I'd buy that for a minute? I don't care what you buy. The police did. Yeah, and what happens when he gets it all back? Hmm? Or worse, when we find out that he's been putting us on. Convince him that it's to his best interest to cooperate. Convince? Both. You're going to do him tonight. Keep your hands up me. Everything has gone wrong, that's your fault. I hired you to do a simple job, to intimidate a man, not to kill him. You gave me that live ammunition, and I thought I was buying blanks. And I presume it was you who burnt my dress so the police would think that I was the guilty one, am I right? Well, you are guilty, aren't you, Alice? You pulled the trigger. And if Carl remembers that, I'll tell him and everybody else about you. You mention my name, and you'll never see your sister again. <gasps> well, you have got me. You do know where. Where is she? What have you done with her? Nothing. Yet. But that could always change. The police found Jake's car at the airport. They must have followed us there, did they? And you caught them. You did something to them, didn't you? What did you do? What have you done to them? You ready to cooperate yet? Come on, Iris. Admit it. I've got all the cards. And you're gonna play them exactly as I say. You better survive on it. You can keep each other warm. I'm plenty warm, thanks. <laughs> what was that? Jake, it's now. Oh, this it's is great. This hour. is great. We got a fire. We got Woodland Lord. I got to spend my time with, with Paulina, the African queen of the campfire. Oh, Ian taught me... No! Time. No, I, I did not get Shanghai to come out here and listen to stories about Ian Rain, all right? You asked me. Well, now I'm telling you. I don't want to hear any stories or quotes from Jungle Jim. Fine. While we're stranded here for, as long as we're stranded here, no more fighting. Well, I don't want to fight. Neither do I. Well, then we've got a deal. Who'd you go to lay rendezvous with? No name, no deal. Really good. Oh, it's Martha Banner. That is so nice. You know, maybe Kate just got a little confused. It's more than that. Kate? Ma? You're home, Ma? Maggie? Why aren't you in New York? Well, I, I was. I, I mean, I was last week, but I'm here now. I was waiting for tomorrow. You know, wh why would someone call you? I don't know. Who called you, Kate? Do you remember? Well, it was a young woman, and, and I'm sure she said that you had to be in New York. Well, I'm here now. And anyway, we have all that straightened out. No, 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 but this is very odd, not in a way. I don't understand how this could happen. My, my muffins, because I was going to bake some bread, but uh, it's not too late. Yeah, she looks okay. Uh, you didn't see her the other night. She was, she was, she was exhausted. She was wearing makeup or whatever was left, red nail polish. And look at this. Hey, look. Look at this. She was wearing that? Yes. Ah, uh, the muffins need just a little more time. <laughs> Did you find 
It was on the floor. Well, I've got to take this back, because uh, um, it, uh, it's wrong for me. Uh, you know, I tried on some... Uh, I tried on some nail polish, too, the other day. Should have tried a new color. You know, it didn't work on me. Maybe you've done that, Maggie. And uh, But that's done. I'm not going not gonna to do that again. That guy hasn't been back to bother you, has he? No. Well, you tell me if he does. No, he won't. He won't be back. I told you he was just very confused. That's all. Uh, maybe... Maybe we should go. Um, you no, know, no, oh, tired. don't go. I, if you stay, it's just so much better, because it's very quiet here it, when, when I'm alone. You do look beat, Kate. Come on. We have all been under a great deal of stress. I know. I'm sorry. This whole situation with me and Louisa, it just hasn't been fair to you. I would do anything for you and Louisa. You know that. I know. <laughs> and I want you to do something for me, Kate, because I love you and I'm worried about you. You do not have to worry about me. I want you to go see a doctor. What do you mean, doctor? Well, you know, just somebody you can talk to about what you've been going through. The stress, the confusion. You, uh, um, you're talking like a head shrinker, doctor? My, my parents, when they were getting divorced, they sent me to, um, uh, shrink. And really, it wasn't so bad. It could really help. Well, I just keep that in mind. Let's check the gun. God. Mommy. Yes, yeah, you're the woman who visited me with my son. What is that perfume you are wearing? Poison. It suits you. Well, I have to know it's very important. Have you really lost your memory, or is this just another one of your dangerous games? Is it true that you and I really did hate each other? Oh, yes, we did. That's a pity. It would almost be worth not remembering if we could start fresh, don't you think? You really don't remember anything? No. Not a jot. Test me if you like. Not me. You have to convince. I am. Mean, that's your name, isn't it? Yes, it is. An exotic flower with a musky scent. Why do we hate each other, I ask? Because, amongst other things, you tried to kill my father. Really? And did you thirst for revenge? I never wanted to kill you, if that's what you're asking. Okay. I'm not a killer. All this and I don't remember. Believe me, Carl. It's in your best interest not to remember. What did Detective Rodden want? Oh, uh, he wanted to kick me off the case. What? Yeah, he's pulling rank on me. He, um, he wants me to butt out. But this is your case. The threat started back in Bay City. But the shooting occurred here, so... Uh, Technically, it's his case. But, Rodney, they're not going to give this the attention it needs. Right. Well, I can only do what I can. Um, I told him my suspicions and... About Iris. Yeah. He said he's got his best detectives on the case. We'll see. I don't like it, Ron. I don't like it one bit. Carl is still in danger. We haven't even found out who did this to them. They could come back and do it again. And this time, finish him off. And what about Jake and Paulina? Where are they? Business. What am I going to do? Tell the Al? All right, I went to the rendezvous with Herbert. Are you satisfied? Herbert Gump, the accountant? He's a very nice guy. What did he do? Break out his calculator, figure out the tip? No, he did not. Did you have a good time? It was very pleasant. Pleasant, I like that. Make yourself a deal. Let me get out of here. Hold on. 
I mean, Rachel and everyone else must know we're missing by now, and it's called the cops. something I remember when I was a kid back in Lasseter. I used to climb out the window through a permanent hole in the screen, and I'd look up at the stars from the fire escape, and I would dream about the first skyscraper I was going to buy. I used to do the same thing for my fire escape. Except I used to dream about my own room. Did you ever think we were looking at the same stars on the same night? told you there was a vacant apartment. Um, I talked to the lady in number four. She was so nice, and she really seemed to like the building a lot. Is that a little girl living with her? None of my business. None of your business. No vacancy. Well, is there anywhere that you could recommend? I, I really want to be in the neighborhood. Well, you could try Bayview Court. Lots of kids there. Thank you so much. Well, thanks for everything, Kate. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry about the mix-up. I'm sorry about tonight. No, really, it's, it's okay. It's good that you talked to Kate. I hope she heard me. I'm not giving up. That's not what I'm saying. I mean, I can't. He's my father. I'll just have to keep tabs on events unofficially, including Jake and Paulina. So what do I do? Nothing right now. Um, I'll let you know. I'm going to go talk to Billy, see what he can do on his end. What were you doing in there with him? Well, I went to see how he was doing, if he remembered anything. Did he? No, not yet. This amnesia is a nice break for whoever shot him. Well, yes, assuming that it, he saw whoever shot him, which I doubt. I mean, he was so busy gazing at you. Whoever did this one is in dead. You don't know that. No. Well, it might have been an accident or a mistake. I mean, they might have just been frightening him. Or they could come back and finish him off. That won't happen. You could be so sure. Believe me, Rachel, Carl's safe. I guarantee it.
tomorrow on another world. First, they were lovers. Then they were enemies. Now they're stuck in the wilderness together. How long can Jake and Paulina keep up the pretense before they give in to passion? Find out tomorrow on Another World, only on NBC Daytime. Thank you.